What's going on guys, Graham Cracker Gaming here, back with another video, and I know I haven't really posted in a while, but I'm um, finally back with another video, so, um, i just been trying to do a lot of stuff, you know, for myself and all that, but anyway, um, so, tonight, or this time I got some, uh, footage for when I ran my first, uh, AI race on iRacing, and... I decided to do it on Long Beach with the Cup Series, uh, especially since uh, NASCAR and has been trying to get uh, stuff going for a street course, as we all know with the Chicago street course. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, just right now I'm in qualifying right now. I'm just trying to uh, learn the track a little bit too. I haven't really uh, ran it with I ran it much with the Cup Series, so that's why I'm trying to get as much practice as I can from this qualifying session. You know, I do a terrible job at it, job as you can see right here. <laughs> you can hear that I kind of hit the car ahead of me. Um, plus, I'm also running a modified Sonoma setup, which probably for Long Beach is not the best. Um, the car the whole race was just an entire mess. The, getting it, just trying to get through the front straightaway was just absolutely uh, just a oversteer show, if anything. Anyways, um, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what this thing to talk about. But this is gonna be this is just a 15 minute race. I just figured I'd try out Long Beach. Like I said, with NASCAR, it, trying to be, or trying to get some street courses on here, on their schedule, which honestly I'm not opposed to. I think it's an all, a pretty cool idea for it. But, but if you enjoyed the video, uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see some more. And, and as qualifying, just keep flying down. You can just see a little bit of me. Uh, the way I'm trying to do this video is, is in the is in a bit of a sense of like uh, Super GT how he does some of his videos <laughs> you know it might be boring so <clears throat> there are some funny moments in this especially early on uh, I'm just trying to talk about whatever I can the before qualifying as qualifying should be in here in a minute again just trying to learn the track and yeah And with like that qualifying for me is done. <laughs> I think it, <clears throat> I was just going too hot into the corner and it just over I just over blew the corner and just didn't go and get it right. I anyway, was just waiting for the race to start. I should have a full field. It should be around like forty cars or so, maybe in the thirties or so. Uh, I even have this on a pretty low uh, AI setting because I didn't know how the AI was on here. I'm still trying to just learn the AI, AI on iRacing since this is my first uh, AI race on here and I'm just, even now I'm just tra still trying to learn them. But there's a bit of, uh, quite a bit of cars on here. You even see a Minty, a Jimmy Broadbent's car. <laughs> um, there's a lot of other names that are in this. But like I said, it's just AI, none of the actual drivers. But anyway, as we're getting, as we're on the pace laps, you know, you think you know, um, <clears throat> the AI would be pretty good, uh, or pre a little better through here. No, uh, a little bit of a backup. Uh, as we're getting getting through the hairpin, like get, get, yeah, like usual. Uh, oh, uh, just a little bit of uh, backing up. Okay, and typical Long Beach. <laughs> so here, so let me just show you the onboard footage of what I was just going through right with this. Just the entire back of the field, just all backed up from this. <laughs> you think, even the AI don't even know how to get through this. And it's just these two cars, even the 32 right there, just spinning his wheels. Just, oh my god, AI. <laughs> Bruh. But anyway, let's come down to the green flag. Green flag is here. I already make up quite a bit of spots. I'm not sure what position I'm in right now. I, I kind of forgot. 
especially towards the finish. But anyway, come going around the I think it's Shoreline Drive, <clears throat> coming into the turn one, and just trying to take it easy for this first bit. We're going into the the <laughs> the excuse me, we're going to the fountain section. I can't even think of the name of it. Got a little bit hit there, just trying to take it easy for this first section. <clears throat> for, for his first lap, he's making quite a bit of passes going on. Trying to get as many positions as I can in the first lap. <laughs> a little bit of a mess just going down to uh, the corner here. All right, so I'm just trying to pull up a, a track map for me. I know the <laughs> corner names. Uh, just coming to the final section here. We've got quite a bit of cars there. <laughs> As you can see, I'm running my uh, waifu library. Got Chica in the background just dabbing on it, all of them. <laughs> Anyway, so playing the first lap, going to uh, the hairpin, finishing up the lap, and yeah, just coming to this like last bit here is just a pain because it's trying to it's just a hassle trying to keep the car straight. <laughs> but as this pass is going on here, you could, the 18 tries to block me, but I just get him anyway. And just so smooth that, like, as you can see here, a little bit of a lift in the throttle because, again, the car is loose. But as you can see, he's just holding the inside line. But he didn't leave. I was like, he didn't leave enough of a gap. I'm just going to take it and just get around him nice and easy. Sure. Going through the fountain section again. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get as many more. Just trying to stay within the, try to get as many positions as I can with the 15 man sky. I can't even speak. <laughs> Take a little bit wide to that corner. Just trying to, sorry, I'm just trying to find a. Get a little, kind of get squeezed, kind of get squeezed through the, there, through there. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out. There we go. I think I got something. Okay. <clears throat> but as we're coming to the final section again, through turns nine and ten, <clears throat> into the hairpin, going down, getting to run down to East Shoreline. I kind of messed the hairpin up, but that's no big deal. And down the straight again, kind of getting all bunched up back there and the, coming out of the hairpin. Just going down the East Shoreline down to West Shoreline Drive. <clears throat> and <laughs> right here, I just kind of overshoot the corner. I was trying to see how far my braking was. And I just uh, hit the limit. I did it. I just got too itchy on the brakes and just blew right through the corner. And that just made me lose all the spots I just gained. <laughs> that mo that little moment right there, I'm pr pretty sure if that was a race where the actual people you already heard of. You freaking, freaking just pull right down in front of me, you freaking idiot. You know, something along them idiots. <laughs> idiots? Yes, along them lines. <laughs> Anyways, just try at this moment, just trying to get uh, my mind set back to it, get back to the many position I can. And that 12 car you see right there. Uh, do take note of that car because that guy's gonna be a key player later on in the video. Going down to uh, turn seven should be. <clears throat> As we back up a little bit, I just I'm trying to sh show how it is. All these cup cars just getting bunched up in in the turn eight. Sorry, that kind of message. 
<clears throat> just going down and straight down is it east sea, east seaside oh my god I can't not speak it down to back into ten, nine and ten into the hairpin nice little onboard shot we got here all the way through get the run on this on the car 28 and trying to get around them hopefully I can no just squeezing me and I just oh getting wickedly loose there just did not work out and <laughs> that car there that number 14 I think that's Clint Boyer just coming out of the pits there just being like just not being able to drive the car well <laughs> And they're going through the fountain section again as we get a nice shot of all the cars lined up going through there. <clears throat> that, a lot of good shots from, from my racing from this. That's pretty cool. Anyway, just trying to get all the positions as back as I can. Just getting it slowly. I'm pretty sure I'm around like 12th or so. I can't really remember. down in the turn eight once again nice little shot there and oh uh, uh oh what happened there so maybe replay of this so oh just ran wide and uh, really number 28 <clears throat> so here's from an onboard chat so what happened was is I came down to turn eight and just overshot the corner a little bit and wow what a prick and just uh, guy just decides to just still run into me even when I gave him the room <laughs> anyways no big deal just trying to get back to it so much for a clean car but going down to turn 9 and into 10 again nice onboard shots we got here I figured this out pretty well that I used the uh the roll bar for this and then just move the camera around on this might might be a bit of a mistake but it worked out <clears throat> it's coming down east east shoreline down to south shoreline and ugh, a little wide there the car just all over the place of it and, ugh, I had to pull a bit of a GT move on there but I get around car 28 fine and oh a shot of it and oh well karma I guess <clears throat> that by like, going in turn the turn one there I was just trying to basically GTP it group C type thing where you just go from high gear down to second but slowly making my way through the crowd again and there's that 12 car again again take notes of that car he's gonna be around more later on in the video Making a move down to turn seven. Nice. Uh, and then back down to turn eight. This time not sideways anymore. <laughs> so we don't get pounded. <clears throat> down the straightaway. Oh, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get back up. Again, just, tr just slowly making my way back up there and as you can see, the car is just very damaged. Anyway, back in the hairpin, trying to get around the six car. I can't. I kind of forget who some of these drivers were. But you guys will probably you guys will probably recognize them by their schemes or something like that. Trying to get outside move here, another onboard shot, and as you can see, he just gets to run on me. I'm just lifting out of the throttle. Hit. Kind of locks up, but I try to get a run on him on the outside, but I just run a little wide and just give it back to him. Going down to the uh, fountain section, try to get around him here, and oof, it's a little bit of a touch there. Yikes. But, ooh, get a little squirrely there, but we're finally around him, which is good. Uh, I think it's around this time the tires start slowly dying out. Uh, I better have a Lewis Hamilton bono. My tires are dead. I cannot look after him any longer. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, catch on back up to 18, basically just Kyle Bush in my way. Frigger. <clears throat> can, we, can we get a boo in chat for uh, Kyle Bush? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Just slowly making my way down the straightaway. Shifting down, down to 9 and 10. <clears throat> oh god, <laughs> dropped my phone. Uh, into the hairpin section. Ooh, there's a nice shot. Hey, uh, Long Beach, can we get. Long Beach, can we get a, a camera shot like that there in IRL? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, trying to pass the 18 down. East shoreline. Nope, still don't get it. Oop. Got a little bit in the wall. Not good. Uh, past Pine Ave and the south shoreline. Uh, I'm just going to hold back a little bit. Just get around them. Going to do the same thing I did the previous lap with the six car. And oof. Just get, you can hear that. Just get a little bit in the back of them. Just break a little too early, I guess. Or I break a little too late. But I still get around them with that all nice and fine. Back down to hand the turn seven, and as you can see, that 12 car is just sticking with it. Just sticking with me. And again, just keep an eye out for him. He's going to be a key player at the end of this. Hand down the down the east. Oh, what, <clears throat> what we got going on here? Okay, just a bunch of cars just stopped in the middle of the track. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> Don't really know what happened there. But <laughs> no onboard shot for that, surprisingly. But it was around this time that I started noticing the 12 car was just r catching up to me rapidly. So it was around this time that I just needed to really push it. But I think it just pushed it too hard. Again, the tires were just all over the place. Bono. Um, so I, so I'm just trying to push it as much as I can, trying to get, uh, as far away as the, from the 12 cars as possible, maybe try to catch the cars in front as I can, and down the, the south shoreline into turn one, and into the fountain section again, kind of just overshoot it there, as you can tell, I'm just trying to push it, just do a little too much there. Nice shot there. <clears throat> I think I kind of mess up on this corner. I forget. Oh, I'm kind of all burpy though. Uh, down to turn seven. I just okay. Get it right this time. How are we going into turn eight? Okay, pretty looks like pretty fine. Yeah. Ugh, almost just running to the barrier into the tires right there. All 12 cars just, just keeps it on chasing me. Down to the east uh, seaside. Uh, the the roll bar just hot or just chassis just twisting all over the place. The car just hopping. And of course, I just still overshoot the corner. And as, I, as you can see, the car, that 12 car is just still like is caught up. It's just practically caught up to me at this point. Just trying to make my way through the, <clears throat> through the main straight as I can, or main curves on uh, the shoreline drive. Into turn one, that 12 car. Ooh, what the? Okay, what we got here? Oh, okay, just. I know I overshoot the corner, but just car stopped in turn one, I guess. Typical Long Beach, I guess. <laughs> but as you can see, that 12 car is just right up my ass at this point. Trying to do everything I can, just kind of get an inch away from it. I don't think I can. It's all going to be about this corner that I can just get away from it. No, I do not. My tires are just dead too. I'm just screaming, Bono. My tires are dead. And as you can see, uh, can I get him? Can I defend? Can I defend? No, I just went wide. Just give it to him. Ugh, not good. Okay, just gather back up and try to chase after him. No big deal. <clears throat> We get another onboard shot, trying to chase back after the 12, get that position back. I'm pretty sure it's about for either 7th uh, place or ninth place. I'm not 
sure. I think I'm currently in ninth or he, that 12 car is in eighth. Is it coming down? Kind of sticking with them. And oof, a little bit, little bit of contact as we're coming to the final lap. I know it's the final lap right here. Uh, can, I, can I get him on the inside? No, I got back out a little bit. Just so not good. Down past Pineapp through Shoreline. Kind of defends. I'm going to come on the outside. No, it just lock up. Oh. Alright, we're going to get a bit of a replay. I'm just going to show up here so you can hear my throttle. Right there, I was just trying to do a kind of like a Chase Elliott move where he just shifts down easily, but I just didn't get a chance to do it. Or again, right, I was just coming in too hot. And I did try my move from uh, from lap two, turn one deal where Pat, when I passed 18, just didn't work. But I'm like, okay, Pat, lap car in front, I can still catch him if he kind of holds him up a bit. And it <laughs> looks like Clint Boyer is still having issues. <laughs> Everyone just tweeted out that Clint Boer is a bad driver on night racing. But anyway, so last lap, trying to keep up with the 12 cars, trying to see if I can, if the AI can even make mistakes on here. Maybe I can get back around them, secure the place for. I'm pretty sure this is eighth place or sixth place. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. <clears throat> just hold on with them, get a good entrance and exit through the last section here through nine and ten. All the way into 11, the hairpin. And right here, I'm just stuck. I'm just right up to his to him. I try to get the power down. I kind of spin the tires a little bit. Who, who's going to get it first? Kind of drag race. And no, just not close enough. Just not even near. So, yep, that's the race. That's a checkered flag. And like I said, I think I finished around P9, I'm pretty sure. So somewhere in the top 10, the, t the car was just wickedly unstable for me to like not be like, as competitive as the other AI that were like wicked low. <clears throat> anyway, I just want, as we're on the cool down lap, I just want to talk about this race for a bit. So NASCAR on street courses, um, it's not really a bad thing. I don't really know why NASCAR fans just hate just hate the idea and when it comes to NASCAR fans, NASCAR fans is from any motorsports fan base is just the most toxic when it comes to any motorsports fan base. Um, <clears throat> usually usually any races on street courses, whether it's any car, sports cars, whatnot. F one is kinda meh. Um, even Formula E which races on street courses all the time. Uh, it does show pretty good races when it does. Um, so a NASCAR and street courses would would still, even with this just being AI, and I'm pretty sure it would still be like probably the same case if it was um, real life drivers running this would still kind of have the same outcome and whatnot. Just close racing, maybe a little bit split here and there. Um, Drive my phone again. <laughs> um, just close, just close racing in general, if, which would still be a thing if it, NASCAR did run a street course in real life. Um, and NASCAR and street coursing, I don't know why uh, fans say NASCAR shouldn't race a street course when technically the NASCAR Pinty series, the Canadian series, usually. Uh, races Toronto, the Toronto street course, the same time as IndyCar does. So NASCAR kind of already does race at a street course, and for NASCAR fans that don't or don't think street racing is a good idea for NASCAR, just watch that. Watch the 2019 race or anything below any year below that. They show pretty good races 
when it comes to NASCAR Pinty Series. So NASCAR and street course racing is honestly an awesome idea. Now, I just <laughs> haters are gonna hate. NASCAR fans just don't really know what they want. And compared, you look at the package or <laughs> NASCAR fans' ideas of packages for they just. They don't even know what they want from the cup from the cup packages or anything else, so you know. It's same stuff that's going on with the cars and the number placements. They just like to complain, I guess. Anyways, uh so I'm just gonna leave you guys with some onboard footage from the first couple apps of this. Uh leave a like if you did <laughs> did enjoy this and subscribe if you want to see more. And comment down if you uh what other ideas you want want from this channel if you have other games you want to see other uh racing stuff just comment down below and i can make it happen and yeah anyways guys i hope you enjoyed i will see you all next time have a good day